Hey, what's going on? This is Dan Vollmeyer hanging out with one of the Red Sox greatest all-time players, Mo Vaughn up in the house. How we doing, Mo? Thanks for having me. Man, it's so good to be with you here. We're going to talk MVP collections, but first, we just want to talk a little baseball. Your former manager, Terry Collins, he's back in the news. Terry, 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 Terry. What was it like playing for him? Terry had a lot of big league experience. He's a fiery guy. Terry, let's talk. Get, the ball, Terry. get, get a handle. Come on, let's go. It is what it is. Has he ever yelled at you like that, the way he did to that ump? No. It's, you know, he's respectful. Tommy, that's a f***ing bull- you would never drop an F-bomb to an umpire, never, right? That's never happened? Of course not. <laughs> of course not. Our ass is in the jackpot now, okay? Okay, so let me ask you about this. I think it was in 95 and Boston clinched the American League East. I saw a photo. I don't know how this is even possible. You were on top of a police horse. Walk me through how that happens. You're celebrating and then all of a sudden you're just, what, going up a stirrup? Roger Clemens is the one. He threw me up on that horse. He threw you up on the horse. He kind of made the direction that that's what I needed to do. And, you know, you know, being a young guy, he was, you know, you need to get up there on that horse. And I don't know if that worked. I went over for 15 in the playoffs, so maybe I won't do that again. And that horse was never the same. I think I think they had to put it down shortly thereafter. So let me ask you this. You're one of the all-time great Boston Red Sox hitters, but perhaps one of your most memorable hits was the hit you put on George Bell when he was charging the mound. You're protecting your boy. Tell me about that hit. You know, it's funny. I tell people all the time, you know, usually when you're going to hit somebody, they're going to tell the corner guys and the catcher because, you know, you kind of kind of need to inch up because you don't want anybody to get that picture. At that point in time, I was actually digging dirt in the back half of the infield, like all the way almost to the grass. He threw him in once, and I go, man, that must have just slipped. He throws at him again, and all of a sudden, I'm like, this is going to be a brawl. And you see how far I was? He actually got there. And then I had to get him later, but I was actually too far away. If I was in my right position, he would have never got to the mound. But that was one of those things. And I'm a good friend with George, and I spin around and run into Frank Thomas, who's one of my good friends, too. It's, it was, it was, it was crazy. You hit him so hard the camera couldn't even stay on you. Oh boy, there we go. Just, uh, just tremendous. But like we said, amazing hitter. Um, now you're in this new world of fashion. What would you say are some of your strengths from baseball that have really kind of lent itself to you getting into the fashion world? You know, I played in Boston. There were no excuses. It was about going out and producing. And I think even with MVP collections, you got to execute. And I think playing has helped me. Some of the stuff that I'm really digging, the camo gear. Loving the camo. I don't know what military environment would be required to have those colors. That looks like if you're committing a heist at like a Fenway Park condiment stand or something. Um, that's it's dope. It's fresh. Um, selling, selling like crazy. Selling like crazy. The the jeans I'm loving looks like Black Mamba. Makes me think of Kobe. Let's talk Norwalk, Connecticut, your hometown. I've read that you're not the only celebrity from Norwalk. There's this guy, DJ Caruso, Hollywood director that did Triple X: Return of Xander Cage, starring Vin Diesel. Have you seen that? I haven't seen it. No. Okay, well, here's an idea. We get the two Norwalk guys together. We do a spin-off movie called Triple XL. The MVP collections story. Vin Diesel was in the original. We might have to recast. He's shorter. And I guess also hip-hop superstar Chris Webby, also from Norwalk. His hot single right now is called Gold Toilets. Do you, Mo Vaughn, own a golden toilet? No. Negative. That's not a Norwalk, Connecticut thing. No, Connecticut thing. It's not. I got some bad information. <laughs> Brother, thank you so much for doing this. Best of luck with MVP Collections and this partnership with Destination XL. Uh, we're all going to stick around and check out some of these awesome threads that my man Mo Vaughn and his partner put together. Hope everyone else sticks around too. And uh, yeah, we're going to rock and roll until uh, the sun go down or until they close the store for the night. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you, man. A lot of fun.